Hey everybody! So, in this video, we'll be seeing how we can update our profile on the Take Lessons Classified platform. And for doing that, we are going to head off to takelessons.com slash en dash in. That is takelessons.com slash en dash in. And hit the login button. Add our registered email ID. This has to be the same email ID that we've used in order to uh, register on the Take Lessons Classified platform. Add our newly created password and hit the sign in button. Once we do that, we'll be taken to the dashboard and over here we are uh, going to look at the onboarding section uh, which itself has got three sections profile completion, subject completion and working hours completion. So right now I'm going to um, edit my profile. So I'm going to click on that button and with that this new window opens up this new uh, section opens up and the first thing that i want to do is i'm going to uh, stop accepting new students by selecting the no radio button once i do that you would see that uh, the green color changes to a red after that i'm going to change my profile pic by clicking on the upload image choosing a photograph once i do that i'll get a pop-up um, asking me where i've saved my um, my photograph i'm going to select that photograph um, adjust it slightly crop the image and then save it so you will see that my profile pic has changed and this looks much more appropriate now i want to um, just verify my location and um, the city is correct, the state is correct, so I'm not going to uh, save that. I'm simply going to hit the cancel button. Now, I would like to add some information about myself. So, um, I'm, I've uh, selected this option. I'm now going to um, edit that out and hit the save button. So, that is telling students a little bit about myself. Now, in order to add more details, I'm going to uh, select the pencil icon. Um, I'm going to, uh, the first thing that I'm going to add is the year from which I started teaching. You'll get a drop down, you can select it and you can also select the age group that you're most comfortable uh, teaching. I'm going to keep it 7 to 15 for both boys and girls. Uh, the gender is perfect and I'm going to hit that save button and we are done. Now, I want to change my education, add some educational details as well. So this would require me to add my degree or the field of study uh, as well as the university. So I've added that, adding in the university. Now I would want to select the dates uh, during which I completed that course. So the start date, the end date, which will open up this calendar, uh, select them out, select the, the rough date uh, that is the start one and for the end date we are going to follow the same procedure and we are going to hit the save button now in case you uh, want to add another qualification all that you need to do is you're going to click on the plus icon and this opens up the screen again adding another qualification the name of the degree the name of the university and the dates at which I attended that particular course and as always once I've selected the from date and the end date the start and the end date I'm going to hit the save button and we are done with the education now in order to edit the languages um, I'm going to hit the plus icon once I do that uh, you will get this um, screen opening up and right now I'm going to add another language that is Hindi and uh, once I select that I can also select the proficiency level all the way from fluent to professional and save it up in case you want to add another language you're going to hit the plus icon again let's let's try to do that this time I'm going to keep it as Punjabi and again select your proficiency level hit the save button to complete that process now in case you want to um, offer both online as well as offline tutor uh, uh, classes uh, you have the option of selecting uh, the location of your studio or your tuition center whether you want to um, whether you're open to travel to students location or you're going to only conduct online classes 
Well, let's see what that looks like. So you have all these options available but I feel that for now I'm going to keep it only as online and click the cancel button. As I've already mentioned, uh, it, um, it's a good practice to add videos and photographs to demonstrate to students your teaching styles uh, so that they can figure out whether you're a good match. Uh, so we're going to drop a link to the YouTube um, videos that I've created. Let's add another link, drop the link to the video and hit that save button. And you can see that two videos have been added over here. So let's now move on to our subjects. For doing that, I'm going to select the subjects tab and the screen opens up. Um, I'm going to edit the subject headline and um, share some details of how I plan to teach the subject. Hit the pencil icon to add the details, the grades that you're comfortable teaching. So I'm going to keep it from grade 3 to all the way to grade 10. And um, the curriculum, I'm going to restrict it to CBSC. Adding in the subject headline. Let's keep it as stay curious. And um, how do you uh, teach the subject? How do you plan to teach the subject? Add in some interesting details over there and hit the next button. Once you do that, you'll get the screen. So uh, where do you plan to teach? I'm going to keep it as online. And then you can also adjust the fees that you plan to charge, the duration of your classes, and hit the done button for completing that process. So our subjects are now complete. In case you want to add an additional subject, okay, you're going to click on the add a subject button. So let's say that I want to add elementary uh, math to the list of subjects that I'm offering. I click on that and hit the next button. Okay, so I'm going to select all um, grade one to grade five. Uh, CPSC, let's say I changed my mind, I want to return to this later on. So I'm going to close it and once I do that, it will give me two options. Do you want to close without saving or do you want to save as a draft? So for now, I'm going to save it as a draft and when I return to it, this is what I see. Okay, let's say I've edited it but again choose to come back to it. So again, I'm going to save it as a draft. So our subjects are completed. In case you want to um, work on the working hours, this is, uh, you're gonna hit the working hours tab and uh, to indicate your availability for uh, online tuitions. Okay, so right now it has selected from nine to 8 p.m. I'm going to restrict that to uh, six to 8 p.m. As you can see over here, there is also an option to show late night and early morning hours. Let's click on that. And let's say that uh, I would prefer to take classes from 4 to 6 a.m. So that's done. I have a morning class and I have an evening class. Now, in case you want to check uh, access messages from your students, you're going to hit the messages um, tab and here all the messages from your students will show up in order to reply to any of those messages you're going to type in your reply and hit the send button and your student will get an um, will get a notification of your reply now as you can see my onboarding is still just 97 percent complete and the reason for that is that I'm still not accepting new students. So I need to change um, the radio button from a no to a yes. And once I do that, you would see that um, the color changes from a red to a green. Let's look uh, back at our dashboard. And uh, as you can see, our onboarding is 100% completed. The profile is 100% completed and uh, so is the subject. And the working hours 
So let's look at it. What uh, what our profile looks like uh, for the public. And um, here in you can see uh, the number of teaching years experience that you have, uh, the headline, additional details, uh, how you intend to teach the subject, uh, a small a brief of um, what you want to say, your videos, your education qualification, your languages. So everything's in place. And that is all that we need to know about editing and completing our profile on the Take Lessons Classified platform. Till we meet in the next video. Bye-bye.